everyone this is Angela welcome to my page um, happy new year I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas I was hoping to get um, to do a video sooner but my holiday ended up being a little bit busier than I thought it would be so I apologize for being so late um, thank you to all my new subscribers I'm very excited to have someone um, subscribe I think I have three um, so now my family needs to subscribe. I don't think any of them have subscribed. But um, anyway, welcome. And I'm not sure if you're all new nursing students or current nurses or um, taking your prereqs. So um, hopefully I can be of some help, even just a little bit of help, um, if you're thinking about joining um, a nursing school program. So um, anyway, I just kind of wanted to go over with you um, what my holiday was like preparing for my program. My class starts um, January 21st is my first night of school. We have orientation Monday night and um, hopefully I will get back with you right after that that week to kind of let you know how orientation went. I'm not really sure exactly what they're going to tell us yet so I will let you know. But um, I wanted to show you my stethoscope for one, I told you in my last video that I was getting a stethoscope for Christmas. So my husband had gotten me a um, Lippmann Cardiology 3. Here's the box. I'm sure if you've watched any videos, you've seen probably an unboxing of these. Um, of course, I couldn't wait that long. I've already unboxed mine. But um, I'm going to show it to you. So this is how it comes. Mine is plum. And you get the little booklet which really I hadn't looked through it. Get a little baggie that's got the different size ear pieces, which is nice so you can change that out. Um, I really was concerned that these would be really heavy and I was really surprised how it's not. I'm sure if you wear it on your neck all the time, it will get really heavy. Um, let's see, so I had my name Put on engraved on here. I don't know if you can see it. See a little bit of it. But um, so mine's in cursive. What I would say is have your if you do it, have it done in regular font. It's probably easier to read because it's really tiny. Um, but hopefully that will help from people still in it. I've been told that in hospitals stethoscopes disappear really really quick. And I spent the extra money on the cardiology three hoping that I would have it for many, many years to come. Um, I really wanted pink. Everybody has pink, though. Um, so it just seemed to be the really common color for nurses. So I was trying to find something unusual, and I went to a uniform store that sells Lippmann locally and was able to look at the colors and um, tried this one around my neck to make sure it wasn't too heavy. So um, once I did that and... I was in a hospital doing some volunteer work and kind of looked around and saw a lot of pink. So I decided to go with the plum. And I'm glad I did. I think it's really pretty. Um, before I had this one, I had a, um, let me put this one up. I had a MD Elf. Let me show you that. That I purchased back when I was taking Anatomy 2. We were taking, at the beginning of the semester, we were taking blood pressures. And so I wanted to be able to practice because I'm not in the nursing field at all. I'm not a CNA, so I've never taken a blood pressure before manually. So I wanted to be able to practice on my own. But this is my MD Elf, and it's in burgundy. And it's very, very light, by the way. And our nursing school is actually selling these at a discounted rate to our nursing students this year. Um, so, I don't know, I had a nurse use it one day and she told me she couldn't hear very well on it so that's when I decided just to go ahead and do the cardiology three for my Christmas gift and spend the extra money. I'm not sure if I'll use this in, during my nursing program or not. Um, we'll just see. Um, I've listened to both of them and I can tell a huge difference in the sound but um, I don't know if I really want to risk my cardiology getting stolen or lost. Um, so we'll see but anyway I really like it. I'm happy with it. Um, another purchase, that was my Christmas gift, as I said, another Christmas gift was my shoes. So we had to have all white leather shoes, and I looked at the nurse mates, I really liked, um, I think they were called Lexi, but they were a little pricey, 
So I read some reviews. I ended up going with the Sketcher memory foam. It's like a little tag. Um, they're very comfortable. I haven't worn them, just walking around a lot, but trying them on, they are really comfy. And I bought the ones without lace, and that way I wouldn't have to worry about lacing them and them coming untied. Um, so they were about $50 at the shoe department store. Um, I've also purchased a white watch for Clinicals with a second hand, and it also has army time. I bought this at Target. It's all silicone, so it can be um, Cloroxed after Clinicals. And um, it was about $13, I think, at Target. Oh, I also bought, because the stethoscope um, could be heavy on your neck, um, and if it doesn't fit in my, I don't know if it'll fit in my lab pocket, I don't have my lab jacket yet, so when I purchased my stethoscope, I also purchased this little hip holder for the stethoscope from Prestige. That's what it looks like. So, I'm not sure how that'll work yet. I'll see. Um, also, through Amazon, I went ahead and ordered a little tiny pocket calculator for dosages and calculations. See, it's real tiny. I mean, it like totally is like the size of my hand. So it should fit in my lab coat pretty simply. And I bought a little measuring tape. Um, all this was on Amazon. And I wanted a pocket organizer for my lab jacket. We had to have bandage scissors and a pen light. So I ordered this off Amazon by Prestige. In the uniform shops that I've been in, they all have um, pretty basic the same. They were navy. The scissors were navy and or red. Um, and there were some purple, but I wanted pink, of course. So I thought those were cute. So um, that was, I think, about $12 maybe. So it wasn't a lot. Um, so anyway, I think that's most of my little stuff. Um, I will also get a very tiny uh, one of the pocket notebooks to put in my pocket for vital sign notes if I need that. I'm also wanting a clipboard um, from MD um, Pocket. I think it's MD Pocket. Um, they have a clipboard that folds up and you can put it in your lab jacket. So let me know if any of you have that or if you know of any nurses that use it and if they like it or not. I think it ran about $36, so I just haven't ordered it yet. I was debating if I really would use it or not and if it would really fit in my pocket. Um, but it gets, I haven't really, it got a few good reviews where um, I've seen a couple of people on video, but I really hadn't found a lot of reviews on it. So I'm just kind of curious. So let me know what you think on that. Um, so during the Christmas break, I had to finish up getting all my lab stuff um, done, my immunizations, varicella titer, and a drug test, a background check. And so I've gotten all that finished. I had to get a physical, so I got that done. So I'm um, in a TB test, so I'm caught up. I've got all my paperwork together, ready to take to my school. So I feel really good about that now. Um, books is the next thing. So. I think I told you guys um, that my company that I work for, I work full time and my company has a recognized program. And whenever you do um, something that's appreciated by your manager, they can give you points and you can purchase something from the store. Well, because I work for um, in the medical device field, um, our company actually has um, nursing books. So I'm thrilled about that. I've been able to purchase some nursing books for my supplemental books through them. So it has saved me a lot of money and I'm already been using them. I've used several of them through my A&P classes. So it's been handy. So I'm gonna show you a few of those. Um, I'm gonna pick the camera up real quick and show you. This is like my all my supplemental books. It's really sad. I'm such a nerd. I went even in nursing school and I had this huge um, bookcase full of books. Anyway, so a drug book. Now my school requested um, required Pearson's drug book, but I already had the Davis, so I'll probably keep that. Um, I've already used that. That really comes in handy. I like it. It's got. Um, I mean, it's just. It's so funny that it's interesting to read. Just when you want to read something. So I find it interesting anyway. Um, so I bought two dictionaries. This is. Tavars, Havers, 
So I've heard good things about this one. Um, it's really, really heavy. But it's really cool. It's got pictures. See? I think it's really neat. And a lot of these have a lot of information that you can just read through. Um, common medical terms and just lots of information. So when you get one of these, um, read, kind of look through the front and through the back to see what information is in there that you can use. Okay, then the other dictionary that I purchased, Mosby's. And again, and they have different ones. So like I personally have used both of these for personal reasons. And I'll read, look it up in one dictionary, then go to the other and read both, and I get different information. So it's really interesting. So this one also has photos, which is really cool. So I really, really like both of these. I've used them quite a bit already. All right, so Incredibly Easy Books had good reviews, and I've seen several videos that people have just got talked about them. So, and on allnurses.com is a forum that has a lot of information and so it sounded like a lot of people liked these books. So I bought a couple of these. This one was the dosage calculations. Math is my worst subject. So I need something that's going to help me make that easy. So hopefully that works. This one's Fundamentals of Nursing, which is my first semester class. So hopefully, I haven't really, I started reading through that one a little bit, but I kind of stopped. So I really need to go back to that one. The other one that I'll know I'll use my first semester, and I've started reading through this one quite a bit over the Christmas break, Fundamental Success. Um, I've heard a lot about this one and read a lot of good reviews on it. So, um, and so far it is helpful. It's talking um, a lot about how to answer um, like NCLEX questions and tests for your classes. So it's already, you know, I think it's going to be a big help. So we'll need a nursing diagnosis book. So this one had good reviews. It's Nursing Diagnosis Handbook, 10th edition, by Ackley and Lad Ladwig, I guess. So it had good reviews. So um, this is not the one that my school recommended though, but um, I'm sure I'll use it as a good supplemental. So I bought two NCLEX books that both had really good reviews, and I'm really wanting um, one more that I may purchase on my own. So this one is the Marianne Hogan Comprehensive Review and Rationales. It got really good reviews, and I really like it. Um, I have used both of these through my AMP classes, and um, because it goes through all the systems, so it's very handy and very useful. A lot of information, um, and it does have NCLEX questions on in there, so it'll be helpful throughout nursing school. Um, this one was Mosby's. And I like it as well. You can see I've already tabbed several stuff. So anyway, those are my books. As I get into nursing school, I can um, give another review maybe at the end of the semester on which books I've actually used the most and that I found most useful. I just don't really know yet. But um, anyway, yeah, I feel like a nerd with all these books already. So for my class um, that were um, book lists. So I had purchased two, three, four, four books from a previous student and um, already before our school decided that they would go ebooks and that they would be charging us for those. So I haven't purchased any more. I'm waiting to see how that goes. But um, this one is a laboratory diagnostic test. And this one's a really old version. It was like the fourth edition. Our school actually um, recommends, I think, 10th edition or something. So I probably would have bought the um, newer version anyway, but um, I think I spent like $10 on this one, so that was okay. I figured it was a good supplemental, even if it's not update. Um, the next one was fluids and electro electrolytes. So that one is our school recommendation book. So I've got that one. I hadn't even looked through these yet. The other one <clears throat> is form of so big. Pharmacology. Okay, that's the next one. That one is recommended by our school. 
So anyway, and our school, uh, the ebooks, and they say that we'll get an unbinded version as well, which I don't mind. An unbinded version. I had watched someone's video that did that, and I was considering doing that anyway because I can't imagine carrying this all the time. So I was going to put them in a large binder and then take out the chapters that were on and carry those to school in a smaller binder. So um, anyway, that'll come in handy. Um, this is the other book that I purchased. It's a maternity OB book. Now, I won't have OB till second semester, I think, so I won't need this one yet, and I'm not sure if it's going to be the one that they'll use, but it'll be a supplemental if not. I spent like $10 on it. So, um, anyway, my video's getting really long. Sorry, you guys. Um, the other thing um, that I'll throw out there real quick is supply-wise. Um, last year I purchased I'm, I'm a paper person so I use a planner I tried using my phone at the beginning but that didn't work very well for me so I had bought an Erin Condren planner which I love see and you get your name on it see and it comes in all kinds of designs and so um there's my little to-do list I bought stickers from Etsy so I like Etsy so um, that is one of the supplies that I will use on a regular basis. Um, and uh, anyway, just let me know if you want more information on Erin Condren or if any of you are interested in it. And I can kind of show you how I've used my planner in the past and how um, it's going using it throughout the nursing school. Because I'm not really, I know that um, studying for nursing school is different than studying for your prereqs. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so I'll let you know. So anyway, thank you again for subscribing and for watching my video. Um, best of luck to you all. I hope you have a wonderful week, and hopefully I'll get back with you next week after my orientation. Thanks a lot. Bye.